She is the first woman to be a governor of South Dakota. Plus, she spent time in Congress and the state legislature. But even with all of that success, lately it seems that Governor Kristi Noem is getting more attention for her looks than her resume. In our top story, Kelloland Summer Rottershot talks with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Yeah, Don and Bridget, today Governor Kristi Noem testified in Washington in front of the U.S. House Committee on Agriculture, but that's not what the New York Times is reporting on. Over the weekend, Kristi Noem took the stage with former President Donald Trump in Ohio. You're not allowed to say she's beautiful, so I'm not going to say that. I will not say it. It felt like New Day, same stuff. Noem's looks are the focus of a New York Times article called the Trumpification of Christy Nome. The article know. compares uh, how Nome looked when she was in Congress to how the governor looks today. A Republican strategist told the Times, quote, she practically looks like a member of the Trump family, maybe a cousin. A professor from Cornell University calls Nome, quote, the perfect ornament for Trump. She goes on to say Nome offers a certain kind of, quote, Miss America-like white femininity. A Gnome spokesperson responded to the article on X, saying he's seen a lot of sexist drivel since working for Gnome. This takes the cake. Republican Representative Stephanie Sauter of Watertown says it's okay to recognize Gnome's beauty, but there is so much more to female politicians than just their looks. But I hope they understand it's not her looks that gets her into office. She's a smart woman. Uh, she's a very capable woman. And... If, if the looks open the door for her, that's fine, but they're not going to keep, keep her or any other woman in office if they're not capable of doing the job. Democrat Representative Caden Whitman says it's degrading when people focus on a woman's looks rather than what she's done to change her community, state, and country. You don't see male politicians having comments made about their bodies or what they wore or what they how they did their hair that day. And it, to me, it just feels like another way for the public to delegitimize women in politics. We reached out for a comment from the governor's office, but we haven't heard back. As soon as they send a statement, you will be able to find it under this story on Kelloland.com.